Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We're back here playing Japan in your open over Salas 4. We're currently at war with Russia and France and Oman and Vinod and Patani and blah blah blah. No one cares. Actually, I guess we could go invade Vinod, huh? They are part of the coalition. For whatever reason, they are part of the coalition against us. They have their own coalition against them, but um, they got enough time to get in the coalition with us or against us. Mm, where are those morons going? Are you going down there? How many troops do you have, Vinod? Probably not many. Oh, Vinod, Vinod, Vinod. 17,000. Yeah, I'm not too worried about you with your 21 Indian tech group soldiers. I might as well invade him a little bit. Invade Vinod! Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Russia is invading us a little bit, and he is slowly getting more troops over here. He's just building them. I would rather not fight them here in Nurcha, simply because he can retreat all the way, all the way across his fucking empire. If uh, if he loses that battle, shattered retreat is a pain in the ass. Uh, we can do forced march, but that won't really help because we're going to take attrition all the way across his empire as well. And then who knows what kind of French army we might engage on the way. So. It might be in our best interest just to ignore them for a while. Conquering little provinces here is not going to force us out of the war. His war score is mainly from holding the target. The war target is East Tunguska over here. He holds it, therefore he's gaining tons of war score. He's up to 10% already, but that will max out at 25. So once he's held it for long enough, he'll be at 25 uh, war score and no one cares. And he hasn't conquered any of our lands yet, so we don't really have any war exhaustion. Yeah, we have none. So I'm not too worried about it, um, but it would make sense to push him out just so we don't have to face war exhaustion. We are a tech level ahead of him, and we're in the western group, whereas he's in the eastern group, so we should be able to fight him off. And I guess it does make sense to fight him off. Ah, man. I'm trying to talk myself into doing this at the same time as I've already talked myself out of doing it. Um, yeah, supply limit there sucks. Okay, go here. That's fine, and you guys can go over there, and we'll just smash them, and I don't know. Come on up here. Yeah, tons of supply limit there. All right, I guess we'll fight him. I just didn't really want to do that, but if he takes some of our land, we'll have some war exhaustion, so I guess it makes sense to get him out of there. Uh, Omdo, I don't really care about Omdo. France is actually taking that, but I guess we should push him out of there as well, so we'll use this army up there. We'll go to Omdo real quick, just to run him off. We're not going to catch him, I don't think. Unless we get a kick-ass general and force march on his ass. Uh, go over here. You do have maneuver two. I guess it's better than nothing. Alright, now run up here and kick France out before he takes Omdo. Uh, put him on forced march real quick. Although I don't want you to get stuck out there against that giant Russian army. Why don't you come down this way and you can help out as well. That'll work. Two armies in the north, two armies in the south. I mean, we outnumber Russia's military forces anyway. Fuck, he got Omdo. Ah, oh, Christ. And he got Nurcha as well. Fuck me, man. Alright, whatever. We'll go to Nurcha then. Just resiege that ship. We can definitely stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Russia. That's not the problem. The problem is, who knows what France is bringing in. France is the same tech as us, right? And da -da -da. Actually, no. France is two techs behind. What am I worried about? Shit. Probably wallop on both their dumb asses. Revolt in Pahang. That's okay. I would I would love my vassals to actually just put down revolts down here. That's the only thing I really care about, but whatever. Oh god, France has landed five soldiers in Sith. Look at that navy. 27 large ships and 40 light ships. Jesus. That is a navy. We should probably dock up our economic ships. Uh, but that will hurt our trade income a little bit. Hmm. You know what, though? If we unfund the Navy... I think we can do this. Unfund the Navy. Save some cash, right? What's the difference? It's half the cost. Save some cash. Just dock everything up. And uh, then we won't have to worry about it too much. Just dock everything up. All of it. You know what? You can dock over here. We don't have to worry about it. And then France won't get any points for destroying our navies. That's fine. I think that's all the navies. There might be some more, but whatever. Oh yeah, Australia? Don't we have navies in Australia? No? I guess those pirates wouldn't be there if we had navies in Australia. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
All right, then we have 45 other ships here. We should probably group up our two transport navies just for now. Actually, they should probably come over here. Both of them should probably come over here. It's probably the best place to be. All right, that'll work. All right, come on up here. I guess Force March. Oh, I can't turn it on and off. This fucking thing is so buggy. There it goes. If it grays out, you can't turn it on and off. You have to switch it on and off for a different army and then come back. Weird. Uh, do we have leaders for all this shit? We have a leader here. Uh, we should probably get a leader for this army and this army as well. Oh, we do have one. So we have three generals right now? Yeah. But we can have four. So why don't we get another general? Bingo. Oh, wow. Six, six, three. Fuck yeah. On my biggest army, too. Well, we're definitely going to be attacking him with that army. Looks like France is going to group up their stack into a 17 stack. That's fine. Uh, you can go straight for Nurture. Just go take that back. Any good things out there? Conquer shit, conquer shit, repair relations, don't care. It's too bad about Vinod and Patani joining that coalition. I really wanted the coalition war to be only against Russia, but uh, whatever. Kind of screwed up relations to do that, yeah. Russia's army seems to have vanished. I don't know where they've gone. Why don't you come over here? Just to siege that back, tell me real quick. Then go attack him. I'll put you on forced march, see if we can't catch him. Let's go straight to Amd or Alxa or whatever it's called. And he is gonna run away. He's running to Nurcha, so let's see if we can catch him in Nurcha. We do have another army going to Nurcha. Oh we caught him in Dornod. Nice. Look at the morale bonus. He starts at 3.3, we start at 7.3. Wow. Oh my god, we're slaughtering him. Slaughtering him, we're going to destroy that army. Oh my god, we destroyed a 40,000 stack army. That's a 45,000 stack army we destroyed. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this guy. Kodohito Miyoshi, you are my fucking hero. Holy crap. That was a 45,000 stack army. And we caught France over here, too. Okay, no, no, no. We're, we're golden. I think it's time that we invade properly. Fuck all this shit. <laughs> Fuck all this shit. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Holy Roman Empire has spawned. They're a little small, but they have spawned. Hey. Nice. Look at that! The Empire! Uh, you know what? We should get relations up with him. He might make a good ally. Not like we really need an ally this close to the end of the game, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we destroyed that stack. We had 48, they had 45, and we destroyed them! They melted! Even this French army is putting up more resistance. Oh my god, Russia, you are just in bad shape. Uh, just siege it, just a level 2. And let's move on. Okay, move on. I know they have a 50 stack somewhere, I just don't know where. But I'm not that threatened by it anymore. I was worried for a while, but I guess I shouldn't be, huh? Level 1 for it, just take it out. And move on, let's go this way. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, there's his 50 stack. All right, 50 stack, you want to play? Oh, I bet he wants to play. Yeah, he's coming to Angara, all right. You know what, I'll come up this way and we can meet in Angara, or meet up wherever you want. Uh, yeah, you can retake Nurture, that's fine. God, this this army, wow, with this 663 general, it's amazing. Uh, France is at, at war with Russia. And Oh, Vinod is up here. Hello. That's Vinod's entire army. Hello. Uh, oh, yeah. You need to take off Forced March. You don't need that right now. Oof. Wow. Are you going to get out of there soon? Yeah, three days. Okay, fine. Okay, let's retake Nurture real quick. Can I please retake the province real quick? There we go. Just retake that shit. Okay, we got Nurture back. Let's run over here to Irkutsk. And let's run up here to East Tunguska. 
And we'll see what Russia wants to do. It looks like he wants to play. And I would love to play with you. And we got Benguela. Cool. We're invading French Africa. Do you guys want peace? Oh, we don't have a diplomat, right? Do you guys want peace? But we have no diplomat. No diplomat, you say. All right, get out of Khmer. They're going to take a while anyway. Um, I don't really care about these Batani nationalists. They can do whatever they want. As long as my vassals can deal with the armies that they spit out, that's fine. Okay, we lost sight of that Russian army. That's okay, though. I have a general idea where they are. Someone died. This guy died. Damn it. Ah, oh, crap. We'll just let it siege, I guess. Then we'll get a general as soon as it's done. Yeah, where did they where did their army go? They were like right there, now they're gone. They disappeared into the thin air, right? Fat air. Oh there they are. They're running to Irkutsk on the fifth of April. Alright, let's uh siege this down. And siege that down, and then we'll meet you in fifth of April or something. Twelfth of April. Can we just run away? Eighth of April. Thirtieth of April. Can we just run away? Thir oh yeah, we're gonna get out of there by a few days. Cool. Nineteenth of April. All right, whatever. And now we have ten percent war score in our favor. Hooray! Because we got the target province now. Uh, yeah, nine point four percent battle score, or war score, for just that one battle where we destroyed his 40k stack. That's awesome. Level 1 fort, sounds good. Just destroy it. Oh, 68k, wow. Okay, he grouped up Vinod and Baluchistan into that army as well. Interesting. Looks like he doesn't want to play anymore. Aw, come on. What about if we just attack you? Then do you want to play? Can he even get away? I was just going to stand there. What's the terrain? Plains and woods, yeah. So it's going to be pretty good for us. Uh, plains and woods is most likely, so that's fine. You guys hurry up with that siege. Yeah, the walls are busted. Just take it out. And get you a general. Oh, wow, he's good too. 562. Jesus. Come on up here. I think what we'll do is we'll stutter a little bit, like that. See if we can't make him stay. Alright, Damarland has fallen. Group up. Let's just come back down here. Oh, he's bringing over some more troops. Oh, no, he's going back to France. Eh, whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. Poor Russia. If we destroy this stack, that's like everything he has. How long until you arrive? 7th of June. Alright, fine. We'll stop and start again. Oh. Lose one prestige. I'm fine with that. He's just chilling there. He wants to play. I would love to fight that stack. 19th of June. When are you going to fucking arrive? 5th of July. Alright, let's stop and start again. 3rd of July. Perfect. Great. So that's going to be a big old battle. We're going to have both our armies against his army. Perfect. Oh, you're actually going to get away? 5th of July? Nope, you're not going to get away. <laughs> you're stuck, bitch. And Britain's now at war with France and Russia. Good. That may be enough to get France out of the war. Let's take a look. How's that big battle just kicking off? Oman? You're getting invaded. Do you want peace? No. Can we surrender? No. Close, though. 15 out of 17. France, you're now at war with Britain. Do you want peace? No. Can't surrender either. 
it will close the gap as soon as we um, as soon as Britain starts making some some advances on them. All right, we have our six six three general against his four six six. So we're both really good generals, but our tech is better, and we have westernized units, and we have more dudes than he does. So we're gonna be fine. We have more dudes arriving in two days. Oh god, we're actually not doing so hot. We're rolling poorly, but we still won. We still won. They're going to retreat all the way across their damn empire. Who knows where. They're going to... Bashkoristan. Where the fuck is Bashkoristan? Bashkoristan? There it is. Oh my god, they're going all the way over there. It's a long way to go. I think what we'll do is we'll take... Yeah, these two armies are still pretty good. I think I do want to kill off these this stack of theirs. This is their last army. So let's take both these clowns. Let's go straight to Bashkor, stand with them. Uh, they'll get all their... The Russians will get all their morale up on the way, but that's fine. Uh, let me turn on Forced March on both of them. Make sure they get there quickly. And then this stack can just run amok over here and just siege everything. Just siege all the things, because Russia's nowhere to be found. They can't stop us. They can't stop the rock. Siege everything. Russia can't do crap against us now. We've got their army on the run. Even my vassals are up here sieging shit. Ooh, lose Diplo. I think we'll lose the admin points. Because we need the Diplo for the peace deal, right? Oh, it's level one. Just take it out. So he can go, he can probably go straight through down here. We can't. But we should still get there first with Force March. I hope we get there first. If we don't get there first, then I hope we at least get there before he moves out of that province. Well, that's a lot to hope for, isn't it? Alright, so... Yeah, everyone's going to Bashkoristan, right? I think the entire stack is going to Bashkoristan. That's good for us. We can kill all three armies at the same time. Hopefully. A room key, okay. Just drop a siege and go. That's everything under siege at the same time. I love it. Level one, just assault it. Oh wow, you lost a lot of soldiers in that assault. Jesus. There we go. God damn, that was brutal. Even a level one fort can hurt sometimes. And of course, it's winter, so we're taking attrition, but they are not, because they're magical units that don't need to eat food. Oh, France is over here for some reason. Oh, why don't we go kill France? I didn't even know this army was over here. And Pahang has fallen to Patani Nationalists or whatever. I don't care. Oh, I should care about these guys, though. Ooh, um... I guess we can take this army back. Right. Bring one army home to deal with that shit. It's fine. France is the Pope controller. Don't care. You guys want peace yet? Nope. Close though. We'll just wait. I mean, we haven't even engaged Oman. And yeah, they have to take the same path we do, so we're definitely going to beat them over here. Good. It's too bad we're taking attrition out here, but what can you do? Yeah, you know, you're just going to take attrition. It's fine, I guess. Is France going to stay put? No, he's running. 16th of January. Well, what day are we going to get there? The 17th? 17th. What about if we turn on Forced March? Now can we catch him? 8th of January. Yep, we're going to catch him now. Take that, you sack of shit. Swahili peasants, I don't care. Caught you. Stupid Frenchies. Stupid Frenchies! That'll, sir, that'll show you to join a war on Russia's side for like the 30 billionth time. Just keep sieging everything. I think we can turn off Forced March now. You're pretty much there. And yeah, we 
destroyed that army. Great, let's go take this back. You don't need forced march anymore. But we are out of time. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. This is the war we've all been waiting for. I, I guess I should have done this a few years ago, but we kept having... The problem with the coalition is they just keep doing it every five years. And they just keep doing it, and you just have to wait, and you have to wait. But this time, we kind of split up the coalition into three separate coalition wars. So now we don't have to deal with them all at the same time. This is great. Anyway, I've been Shen. You've been you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.